Happy Tuesday, friends. Well, friends, today is Tuesday. And as always, I get to remind you that you can choose not just today on a Tuesday, but each and every single day of the week. Well, friends, today I want to encourage you with this really simple message. And my message for you today is simply this. It's time. It's time to stop allowing what you are allowing. It's time, friends, to stop tolerating what you have been tolerating. Because the principle is simply this. You get what you tolerate. In other words, whatever you tolerate in life, you will never change. And so I want to speak about negative emotions today. If we keep tolerating negative emotions in our lives, emotions such as bitterness, anger, resentment, maybe it's fear, Maybe you keep tolerating emotions or feeling intimidated. If we keep tolerating these emotions, they will never leave us. Jesus, um, speaking to his disciples the night before he was to be crucified, he said something really profound in John 14 verse 27. And I want you to specifically look at it in the Amplified Classic Translation. And we're going to look at the last part of what Jesus had to say in that passage of scripture. He said, stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. He then also went on to tell his disciples to not permit themselves, in other words, to stop giving themselves permission to be fearful, intimidated, cowardly, and unsettled. Now, I, I decided to look up the word tolerate, and this is what it means. To tolerate means to allow. It also means to permit. It means to have an acceptance of an idea or an action which one dislikes or disagrees with. And so I believe really what Jesus was telling his disciples then and what he's telling us even right now is that we need to stop tolerating the negative emotions in our lives. Friends, if we don't take authority over these emotions, they will take authority over us. If we don't learn how to speak back to these emotions, they will keep speaking to us. You know, for many years, negative emotions used to speak to me all the time. And I let these negative emotions, emotions such as fear, emotions such as discouragement, intimidation, I let these emotions tell me what to think, tell me what to do, and really tell me how to respond all the time until I got the revelation that I have authority until I got the revelation that my voice represented my authority and if I could just learn how to raise my voice what I would be doing is I would be releasing my authority over those emotions and so when I got this revelation I started to talk back Man, every time the voice of fear started to speak to me, the voice of discouragement started to speak to me, I would say this. I'd say, uh-uh, I did not give you permission to speak to me. I started to say to the voice of fear, I refuse to be afraid. I refuse to be afraid because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Every time the voice of discouragement came and told me that, man, I wouldn't make it, I would say this. I would say, I refuse to be discouraged because God is with me and God works all things together for my good. I learned to speak back and take control over these emotions in my life. Sometimes, friends, I had to speak back and speak back and speak back. And eventually, friends, with my voice, with my words, I began to take back control over my own thought life. And so I want to encourage you today. It's time to make a choice today to raise the voice of your authority. Speak back to the negative emotions in your life. And with your voice, begin to take back control over your own thought life too. Friends, you can do it. Always cheering for you. Bye-bye.